Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Okay, 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 okay. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Hmm. Well, what do you know? It actually works pretty well. Chat check. Oh shoot! Where's the game? <laughs> game capture outward. The illusion's been dropped. Hey Perquid, how are you today? Thank you for coming as always. I don't know why, but my key light here is kind of burning into my eye sockets at the moment. Let me go ahead and lower that slightly. There we go. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. It is Wednesday, I am here. We're gonna continue our journey down the path of Outwards to see if we can actually continue the story quest line <laughs> because I am kind of on defense of what to do next. Also, let me adjust the volume a little bit here in the game. It's just so that my voice is not fighting with not fighting with the uh, music playing in the background. My check, my check. Okay, looks pretty good. As long as I can be heard clearly above the music and I'm not fighting with the music or anything. I really need to get a mic boom or something. Wow, this actually works pretty well. High quality settings. 18 FPS. Hmm. Doesn't feel like 18 FPS. I wonder what dif what's different. Or maybe it's just... There's some animation tricks going on. They're allowing me to stream fairly well in spite of... Hmm. Mia, you're still awake? Wait, actually, it should be morning over there for you, right? How you doing? Thank you for showing... Or thank you for coming today. We are playing Outward today. Uh, it looks like the last time I played I must have died or something because I appear to be half dead. So actually let's go to sleep and while we're sleeping I'll go ahead and let you all know what's going on in the game today. One second. Where is my bedroll? There we go. Hey Millie! Welcome to the stream. Let me go ahead and shout out to both of you. Mia is a is also a up and coming VTuber. She started about a month ago. She used to actually stream on YouTube, but has recently made the move to decide to move to Twitch. So very exciting, very exciting. <laughs> and I'm gonna go also shout out Perquid has also, I noticed, started VTubing as well, which is very exciting. They were playing uh, Majin Soul earlier, and of course Millie 
also started around the same time that I did. So we're like uh, from the same generation of VTubers. <laughs> <laughs> Use for a tent. Welcome, welcome. So to continue, um, basically, Outward is a open-ended exploration game. I'm not very good at it, but I try. No problem. If you say so, Perkwood, if you say so. And in this game, pretty much it starts off with you losing your lighthouse and you're given some vague instructions to go follow one or three people to join up with them to fight some great, some grim threat. I've just finished exploring all three of the main towns. And I still am not sure which one I'm going to choose yet because... They all have their downsides. Like, for instance, I was getting pretty close to joining the Holy Nation, which is where I'm at right now. Which has this really cool architecture. And it's in the middle of a forest. Except the uh, mayor of town claims that when you join the Holy Nation, the Spirit of God eventually takes over your mind and body. And you turn into... you lose your sense of self. So now I'm kind of spooked. <laughs> So, I'm not really sure yet um, whether I'm going to stick with the Holy Nation or I'm going to still go, still keep going around. What I do know, however, is I would like a place to stay. And I'm pretty sure in order to buy a house in this game, you need to join one of these factions. I don't think they're just going to let me purchase a house, which is sad. Um, and my choices are, do I join the Blue Collective Peoples? Which... Um, it's basically the ruling families that currently take care of the world as it is, but they're the reason I'm homeless, because of this stupid, um, cultural tradition of blood prices and whatnot. Do I join the Hero Nation, which is literally a nation of heroic peoples? The only problem is that they're suffering from overpopulation and have serious class issues. They have a literal slum that the guards will have walled off entirely from the rest of town. So I don't know how to feel about that. Or do I join the Holy Nation, whose entire job is to be, who are literally a theocracy, whose entire job is to fight off against the evil, um, scourge, or whatever. And they're kind of, I, I don't know how to feel about them. Also, their whole thing is they want to fight and kill all of the scourge people. Except I think I ran into some scourge creatures that were not evil so far, at least a few times. So, I'm on, a fence, on this fence there too, you know. You can also choose to learn magic in this game. You have to sacrifice a bunch of your health and stamina to do that though, so it's a serious commitment. Also, it takes a really long time to learn, mag learn magic anyway. So, I have not done it yet, but I did finally decide I'm going to go ahead and spend my skill points to become to follow one of these class paths which in this case is down which in this case is to essentially become a jedi knight and i'll show you what i mean by that if i can just remember where it is how much money do i even have right now 87 all right i was going to read some of this stuff right now learned how to make trip wires cool I, how do I make tripwires? Is it easier than I thought? Oh, it is pretty easy. All you need is wood, some linen cloth, and some iron scraps. That's not too bad. I need more arrows, though, so let's go ahead and craft some arrows in the meanwhile. Need more wood. I'm gonna just rip some wood off this tree over here. Let me... It's not going to let me jump. There's no jumping in this game. Allowed. So all you have to do is either fall off or glitch myself in the game, apparently. Or I could just... Whoop! I'm going to go to a tree really quick and 
just punch the bark off the tree. Because you know that's a thing you can do in this game. <laughs> gather wood. I need to gather some wood anyway to make a campfire later. You know what? I don't remember actually having that many metal shards. I must have forgotten that I had done a lot of mining earlier. So, but uh, before I forget, um, the purpose of hopefully in today's stream, we can finally make a decision on what to do about that. I want to buy all the skills and become a warrior monk first. So we'll probably spend much of today's gameplay just grinding gold. Killing be or getting get better at killing beasties and whatnot. Speak up a bit, eh? I knew a lot before he was a grown man. So yeah, Lath used to be an actual human. He wasn't always a god. He kind of pulled a um, he kind of pulled a uh, Skyrim, a Talos, a um, Talos, and became god. After he did some cool stuff. Bolamax sent you to help me, didn't he? Uh, good timing, too. You know how to get firefly powder the natural way, right? Hmm. So you're supposed to bring the fireflies to a red flower of some kind. And then it provides stuff. Okay. Boon of Blessing. It'll protect you from the light and lightning magic from your opponents and increase the power of your own light and lightning magic. I could afford that, but I don't have any magic powers right now, so I feel like that would be a waste. I also totally forgot where the uh, trainers are for... Oh, they're up here. They're over at the uh, giant flower temple. I think out of all the maps, this city is probably both the easiest and the hardest so far to navigate because it's so big. But let's go ahead and check there really quick. It's fine. I'm surprised you're awake at 6 in the morning anyway. <laughs> uh, just th thanks for showing up though. I really appreciate that. Where do I go again? What do you need? <laughs> it's probably up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's over there. I remember now. I can't believe this whole game. I've just been carrying around this huge ass shield. It sure has done a lot for me, though. So I guess I can't complain. Hey there. So this is what I hope to get. It costs 500 silvers, but if I kick enough ass, I don't think I'll be a problem. It looks like none of these things here require uh, breakthrough points either, so I can just pretty much train outside in this forest and unlock all these skill sets. Mm-hmm. It is. How are you doing, Silas? Welcome to the stream. Or welcome back to the stream. <laughs> you having a good day? These are so expensive, but they're probably worth it. Alright, I'm gonna do it. We're going to kill a bunch of uh, hapless, hapless animals outside, return with their delicious hides, sell them, and make lots of money. I feel like I'm becoming more and more like Seth, that, like Seth as I play this game, or as I play any game that he has covered. And oh my god, my marshmallows are about to spoil. We better cook them. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I can't believe it's Wednesday already. This week sure went by fast, didn't it? Where's my cooking pot? Did I leave it downstairs? Oh no. I can't pick up my campfire. <laughs> well, anyway, let's uh, figure out where my cooking pot went so I can go ahead and... This is not my cooking pot. This is an alchemist kit. I can't believe I managed to lose my cooking pot again. Feels bad, man. This is what happens when you just leave your stuff kind of flying everywhere. With my luck, I probably left it outside and just forgot. Maybe it's like the entrance of town or something. I could probably build another cooking pot, but it costs money. And it's going to push back how long it'll take me to... Get back out in the field and start killing monsters. I also would like to finish my blue sand armor at some point, but I don't even know where to begin, like, harvesting blue sand. I just sort of find it by random, at random. Honestly. Excuse me while I steal more wood off this tree. Now then. Alright, I managed to save the marshmallows before they spoiled. Cool. Hmm. I cannot make anything. <laughs> or can I? It's for salt. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. I better just bite the bullet and go ahead and buy another cooking pot. So I'm pretty sure I lost mine. It used to be here. In my big bag. Is there something you need? Do you sell cooking pots, my dude? Please? Uh... So yeah, today's agenda, as far insofar as we could have agendas on this channel, because I'm really bad at keeping them, is to get money, get swole, finally decide on finally decide on which faction I'm going to pledge allegiance to, and continue to plot the game. Not that I'm in any hurry to finish this game, mind you. This has probably been one of the better RPGs I, and simulators I've played in a long time. It'll be a sad day when it's over. But we do have to move on to other things eventually, you know? Imagine if we did never finish the metal unit. Well, finished, I should say, in quotes. It's not technically finished yet. How can I help you? It's just the main plot's done. This is a lot cheaper than I remember. Was it always 20? Is there some stuff here I could sell that I no longer need? Hmm. I guess I could just learn how to make brew potions and keep brewing potions and then buy out everything, couldn't I? Alright. So, let's see. 79. I got room for 20 pounds of stuff. I can actually make... I have a lot of linen cloths for some reason. I don't remember why I have so many linen cloths. I got three... Actually, I got a bunch of bandages hiding somewhere. Got some bread here. That I can use to make toast. Since I got marshmallows, I could actually use the marshmallow... Turn the marshmallows into jelly. If I recall correctly.
Before I forget also, some really scattered brain like this. Equip that. Thank you. A full complement of arrows are ready. Get the cooking pot out. Deploy. Use cooking pot. Got berry jam. Ah! So I need three fresh ones. Okay. Well, we could always find more marshmallows, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna keep that with me. I don't mind leaving the alchemy kit here because I don't really spend that much time making potions outside. Let's go hunting. Maybe we'll even teach ourselves a few more crafting recipes and build myself some better gear. Ideally, by the time I leave the Hallowed Marsh, I should be strong enough to kill most of these creatures without dying. I mean, I can do it in the forest, in the uh, desert just fine, right? It almost feels like the marsh is somehow more difficult than the other places we've been so far. And I don't know why that is, honestly. While we're at it, let's go ahead and see if we can make it all the way to the Giant's Village, which is over here. And see what they have to do there. Don't mind these. These are dead, just dead corpses of uh, creature of Sisyphus. creatures who managed to slay earlier. Some marshmallows. Since it's daytime, I should be able to get to the Giant's Village now, uh, mostly unmolested, but you never know. Marsha Swamp's typical RPG misery area. Yep. Every game, the swamp is always the most painful area to walk through and to explore. I gotta say, though, this marsh is pretty good, oh, as far from a design standpoint. And, oh, what the fuck is that? This uh, mage here is about to fuck around and find- it looks like he wants to fuck around and find out. Did I just miss? That's probably the easiest fight I've had in this whole game today, which is really funny to me. Oh, I'm hung I'm thirsty. I also forgot to refill my water jug before I leaving town. Up! Oh! Ow! Shit! Ow! Oh man. Oh, man. Give me a second here, chat. Ah! I can already feel myself getting stronger because I just beat that guy to a, to a pulp. And last night when I was out here, I got my ass kicked by those same people. Am I bleeding? Uh, no, I'm not, but I do have discipline running. Don't need those. Let's go ahead and eat breakfast, shall we? Ah, common cold. Immediately heals wounds. Obsessed boon. That's weird. Do I not have any other food? Hmm. to bandage up my own wounds as well. There we go. 
So I was saying, let us keep moving forward. And the thing, it's only morning, right? Oh no, it's evening already in this game. 611. Maybe that's why they've all been coming out. That's a giant. I wonder if that's the same giant I kicked my ass last time. Let's go around them this time. Uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Yep. Ah, uh, giant lotuses. I'm assuming those spires in the distance must be the goblin village. Or the uh, giant village, not goblin village. Hey, a stash. Don't mind if I do. And get some fruits here for the journey. I think we're getting pretty close. Uh, dinosaurs. Do not want to fuck with the dinosaurs right now. I love seeing the dinosaurs fuck with each other, though. It's always exciting. It's always fun to watch that. Um, I did a terrible job of doing of high of uh, sneaking around those dinosaurs, didn't I? I think they hype themselves up too. Because they seem to be glowing red. Which is not something that I typically see coming from these dinosaurs. I could probably take one of them. I'm not sure about two though. Oh yeah, I could take these this one easily. If it does this if that only does that so much dam does that much damage or so. Still, want to be careful. Oh, ow, 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 ow. He just took a bite out of my leg, and I am in pain. The targeting system in this game is going to kill me again, I swear to God. There's two of them now. Give me a sec. Oh, they are still chasing me. That do no damage? What? And you're dead. However, I am also out of ammunition, or running out of ammunition fairly quickly. And to do this old fashioned way. I'm out of stamina. Give me a second here. Fuck! Ah! They got me. It appears I've been dragged to a reptilian to a reptilian lair. I always get a little arrogant when fighting these things. You do well for like half an hour and then you screw up once and you're now something's lunch. Loud screeches start to startle you awake. You've been dragged into a cave surrounded by the lizards of the marsh, screeching and fighting one another for the right to feast on you. You must flee if you value your life. Oh, that's just glorious. A fishing harpoon? Let's see, linen cloth. Yeah, why is there a fishing harpoon over here? Unless... One second. I'm gonna heal up first. 
going to eat some delicious foods. I should have just used this to begin with. I'm dumb. And this restores all of your remaining health. Our remaining stamina. So we're going to take that as well. Or most of the remaining stamina, I should say. Alright. Ah, oh, I wasted that. I'm going to leave the harp. Maybe I should take the harpoon with me. We could probably transform it into something later. Let's see if we can get out of there. You see, I could kill one of those, maybe. Your progression involves you and a team taking turns dying and reviving. <laughs> I know that feel. If there's only one dinosaur, I think I will kill them one at a time and make off with their corpses anyway. Or, oh, there's a blue one down there. That's not smart. Me, I'm going to get myself killed again. Wait, did he call for help? Are they that smart? It looks like the blue and red things are buffs. And you're dead. Well, if he did, they certainly didn't come to his aid, so... Good riddance. Loot Stegosaurus Rex. I'm running out of arrows, too. Some mushrooms. Let's see now. Hmm. Oh, some oil. Oh, okay. That kind of spooked me for a second there, but he's stuck down there and I'm up here. So it's no big deal. Oh, there's a horde of them downstairs. There's a lot of nice edible mushrooms here, but they're difficult to get to. And I don't think I have enough arrows to kill all these critters. Unfortunately. Maybe we can't go, or maybe you can't or shouldn't go that way. God, how many of these are there? Hmm, crimps. An ochre spice beetle. That's not what I had in mind. I actually can't see now. This is a very claustrophobic cave. Fireflies. Hmm. Corpse over there. Interesting. Looks like we're underground somewhere, so 
We should be finding an exit fairly soon. And if I go to one of these fireflies and attract them, I should be able to make firefly dust right here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it ate the fireflies. <laughs> That's not nice. Here's a big dino. Oh, oh man. It's not just any dino. It's that it's the really difficult one. But it's um skull goes for a lot of moolah back in the market. So if I can manage to kill that one, it'll be good for me. I need poison though. Or something. Oh, it spotted me. I wonder if it can even get to me from there. Oh, never mind. It's running away. If I can continue to get through this area unmol relatively unmolested, that would be great. But unfortunately, he is in the way. There's two of them now. That's not good. But trapped in this real in this uh area, I might be able to just um slowly kill him over time. Can't get too close to it either because it has this pollen thing which um hurts. Oh shit, I got stuck on the... The tooltips say not to use the sniper shot for engagements like this, but honestly, if you play correctly, it's not so bad. I feel like I won't have enough arrows to kill these things if I don't use the sniper shot, etc. Like, liberally. And it's fleeing. Its mate is looking over this way to figure out why it is, what, why the other one is upset. Actually, do I have an invincibility potion or anything like that? Leave me alone, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah, we're in a completely different area right now. So, oh, this is a spawning pit for these dinosaurs. No wonder they're angry. Let me go finish uh, this one really quick. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Run away. I am Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Let let me loot the dinosaur, please. As much of a pain in the ass it was, as it was to kill this thing. Let me... Let me loot the... Okay. Cool. Bonk. Let's go ahead and kill the other, fi kill the other dinosaur as well while we're at it. And then we'll... Huh? Oh. Ah. Serves you right, Trog. No, 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 no.
<laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Should go down with one more shot, I think. Maybe two shots. What's it, what up, what, what up, what up? What about bows? Yep, it is fleeing. Left your recurve bow shaft two days ago to try in a game. <laughs> I wonder if I can harvest wood while inside this cave. Big if true. Uh, the game is not going to let me harvest the uh, wood off these giant roots. I guess that would be too convenient. There are a lot of dead bodies here. Huh? A hollow trunk. An iron grade hammer. Some gold. And some fireflies. <laughs> Give me more arrows, please. Ooh, a pile of junk. Pathfinder armor, actually. Hm. Like, Ashton, this is really expensive armor, actually. <laughs> so this is a good find. Much better than my trader garb, even though it doesn't have as much pouches. This may, in fact, be one of the better armors I've found in the game so far. But 
But for now, we're going to keep the Trader Garb op on because we need to carry stuff. Is the game not going to let me run anymore? With... Unless I... Yeah, I can't even... <laughs> I can't run unless I'm wearing the... Okay. Noise? Oh, nice. Yes, yes it was. How did I find cactus fruit down here anyway? Hmm. Let's go outside, shall we? Exit to the Hollowed Marsh. Hopefully we'll be able to make it to the Giant's Village at some point in this game. Who knows when, but eventually. Ah, what a beautiful day. It's only 522. Where are we? There's the giant spire of whatever that is. Um. Hello? Oh, shit. Woo! Why am I still alive? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this game sometimes. And there's an even bigger one over there. I'm actually lost. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> Why am I still alive? Did he follow? He did follow. Shit. Fucking dinosaurs. Oh my god. When did the enemy... <laughs> when did the enemy AI get this, this smart, actually? I'm kind of surprised. What's that? I should probably turn off my lamp, too, huh? Yeah, I don't think I can outrun it either, at least not as I am right now. But, like, if I just... If I'm just careful and regain my stamina slowly, I could probably outmaneuver it. Goddamn marshes. Um, one second. I need to get a breather at least, you know? I need to regain enough of my stamina that I can actually shield and stuff. If I'm lucky... May I'll run into some bandits, and they will get into a try to fight me and accidentally hit the dinosaur in the process. What's that sparkly thing over there in the distance? That's just my luck. Really? Oh, there are two different kinds, too. Yeah, they are two different kinds. One's bigger than the other. By far. 
Ah, I cannot walk under it. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Clever girl. Female and male? Uh, probably. Uh oh. Oh, shh. Well, that's not the worst way to go out, I guess. Man, I've just been dragged back to Monsoon. <laughs> Rip. That's cool. I've been saved again. And since we're here anyway, I might as well go ahead and sell my stuff. Bag is still overweight and I am dizzy and very injured. He didn't lose anything. Surprisingly. It actually lets you keep all your stuff. If I was playing hardcore mode, I would have lost. Is I would have uh, in died immediately. But I'm not, so. Yeah. It's very convenient. To be sure. Super quid. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. What can I do for you? <laughs> All my blood mushrooms are starting to spoil. And I actually don't know how to make health potions, so... Raw meat has rotted. Oh, that's just great. What's the point of escaping with all that dinosaur loot if they're just gonna rot away before I can use them? Greetings, friend. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Mm -hmm. Where did I put my alchemist kit again? There it is. Ah, life potions. 
so I can make some after all. Emphasis on the sum, though. How many marshmallows does it take to make a bunch of green jam? Really? I need another one of these, huh? Rip. Let's go to sleep. We should probably sell or offload these things before they spoil though, which they will fairly soon. And if I can't make use of them right now, we should at least Is give them to someone who could. You need? Just like in real life groceries. Sleep. Sleep, sleep. Yep. They've been through a lot, haven't they? Well, a lot is kind of an understatement. They've been through hell and back and back again, it feels like.
forget where the place to drink water is, too. What needs repairs this time? Bow is good. Axe is okay. Shield is salvageable, I guess. Mm, stretching. My god. There we go. Every time I try to get to the giant's village, I die or get distracted. We've got to make it there before the end of the stream. Eventually. I will figure out how to do, how to manage it somehow. And once again, I may be carrying a little too much. Where's my water? I'm out of water. Well, that's not good. now but wait eleven thirty one in the morning. I should sleep more though. I'm out of stamina. I just spend the entire day doing nothing but sleeping. There we go, finally. My marshmallows have rotted. Took so long. Honestly, a bunch of my food's probably starting to go bad. I should have just turned them to uh, rations. Alright, let's get going. This time, we will totally make it, right? Totally. Yep. Positive mindset. Well, let's do more than having a positive mindset. Let's also ensure that we actually make it. Equip this. Put on the bird mask. Bird mask makes me run faster. The bad, this fat ass bag is what's making me have a hard time also. <laughs> but only about 10%. Now, assuming no interruptions, we should be able to make it to the giant's village. A giant city. in the morning. Alright, let's do it.
Two more bandits spotted. Let's have the bandits fight the giant, I guess. That should be a good experience for the giant, right? Then after that, we can loot the giant's corpse. One shot. Pretty sure that ragdolling means that he is dead. Let's go get the other one to come over here as well. Just to make sure. Trapped by a fence. That did not work as planned. If I leave these two lovebirds alone by themselves, they'll get to take a hint. So to speak. That bastard sure is traveling a long way. Ah well. Let's get to the giant's village. This time with no dumb dinosaurs to get in my way. I stand corrected. That seems to be a dinosaur from earlier. That didn't work as I thought it would work. Positive grind set. There it is, the giant city. It's actually a fairly small city when you think about it, compared to what we've seen so far. Um, did I turn up wrong to row? Oh, shit. Not again. I fell off into... No! Why is it sending me back to Monsoon? Why didn't it spawn me inside the giant city? I was right, right outdoors. Fuck.
That's dumb. Maybe. Because in the previous... In previous areas, it would just... In previous towns, it would just spawn you to a town directly. Because now, all of our fatigue and health is gone, so we'll need to sleep for a full day again. So annoying though. Okay, let's drink some water before we go. Where's the water fountain again? Here it is. It's rancid looking well. I'm running out of food. This time, this time for sure, we'll make it to the giant city. Probably only to be killed in the giant city. My luck is anything to go by. These bandits keep respawning too. Fuck me. Ugh. I better just wear the armor. Fuck it. Here we go. So if I have to fight again, it won't. I'll be able to survive a lot way better than last time. Is that dinosaur still here somewhere? Someplace? I know it's gonna spawn somewhere. Just to fuck my shit up. Guess not. Who'd have thought? Oh, for f crying out loud. There it is. I see you, bitch. Uh, 
Ah, finally. Just took over 9,000 years to kill that. The giant village. You would think, right? But I remember seeing Seth uh, enter the Giant's Village without a problem. And these go giant guards aren't doing anything to me right now. Hmm. Yes, they do. Looks like it's underground, too. That's probably why I can't see anything. Hmm. Well, well, well. That's interesting. For some reason, I cannot uh, trade with this person now. Fifteen hot weather defense. Ooh, marshmallow tartine. And how to make a discipline potion. So none of these townsfolk want to talk to me. Hello, my friend. Hmm. I guess you can. Who'd have thought? That wasn't so bad. Bolt varnish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Golem elixir. And these are for traps right here. That's for a survivor elixir, whatever that is. You can also buy gold from them. Let me see if I could sell my junk here. Why is why are they paying so much for the white blue hat? Not so much for the right clothes. Don't need any actual potions. It's at least confirmed that the grilled crab eye seed can be mixed with linen to make more poison weapon to make more poison, which is sorely needed on my end. Do I don't have any linen, do I? Yeah, I do. Learn poison rag. Cool. So now I can poison my weapon, uh, poison to my weapons, which might be useful. Huh? There's no map here. And I've never seen that creature before, but it looks creepy. Giants are kind of strange in this setting. Look at those big things sticking out of ba their backs. I at first thought that those were like backpacks, but they are not backpacks at all. 
Giants are just very alien in this game. A human in my village? What do you want? Hmm. You listen, human. Off with you. So they basically make clothes, I guess? Stray. As far as I could tell, that's what they do here. Some of them are calling it an outpost and some of them are calling it a city. This must be their gigantic god. It looks like a Buddha. Almost. I like this person's mask. This is probably, because of the lighting, this is the best upkeep look we've managed to get as a giant so far. He has these giant horns on the side of his head. They have this giant thing attached to their back. Spooky. Hmm. In the right height. What else can be found here? Still kind of sad that the food so the uh, food stall here is not going to sell me anything. Khajiit have wares if you have coin. What kind of creature is this anyway? Huh? What the? I can harvest the wood from this tree? This person looks like they sell, oh, weapons and blue armor. Very expensive armor, it looks like. You have to be a goddamn giant to use these, it looks like. Giant kind halberd. That's kind of messed up, actually. Bone pistol, a great pick, an obsidian pistol, a phytosaur spear. Actually, doesn't the phytosaur spear just require a, a fishing pole? Bone pistol, yeah. I don't have any pistols with me, so I can't really use this, but that looks, that's, that's just sounds cool. Scaled leather boots, a scaled satchel. Palladium spikes, a Tyrannosaurus axe. You can buy palladium from them too, it looks like. And also bullets. Hello, my friend. Purchase my marshmallow tartine recipe, please. Thank you. This is a big town. I wonder if this place is unfinished or if it's supposed to pop up later in a different quest line.
I am thirsty. And why can't I talk to any of these warrior monks or whatever? About their religion and stuff. Is that it? Have I explored every inch of this place? Can't any enter any of the buildings. With that having been done, there's not much left to do now except to collect money, sell materials, make new equipment, and eventually, finally, decide on a faction to join. No rush, though. Didn't I just kill you? Why are you back? Christ. Oh, it's just a body. Okay. And they, two more of them spawn over there in the distance. Beautiful. Oh, they vanished. I guess they heard me talking shit. There's a couple bandits over there. Need more arrows. I could turn off this as well. Put out. Good thing the music changes. Quest continues to find other ways to cheese these enemies to make things a little bit easier on myself. Ow. The armor must be doing its job because that didn't hurt as much as it used to. Ow. That sure did, though. Almost got myself killed again. What is that? cabin all the way up there. Was that there before? So I don't remember it. Is 
Let's take a closer look. Uh, one second. For fuck's sake. That's getting really annoying. Am I going to put down the reptilian cage again? Looks like God has saved me again. And he has a funny sense of humor of funny sense of humor because he always puts me over here at the top in the middle of nowhere. When I feel like he meant to drop me elsewhere, you know? It's always difficult to get down from here, too. Unless you, like, gently slide your way down. Hopefully without breaking your feet in the process. I think I left my bag up there. Yeah, oh no, is right. If I left my bag up there, um... It's more than my loot, it's pretty much all my stuff, including all my gear. <laughs> because the I don't know why um, that event spawns me on top of this otherwise inaccessible mountain that you can't actually get to. Let's see if I can get it back. One second. Sure is taking good old games a while to sink it too. Come on. So I'm wondering where does it save? I'm assuming it will have saved on top of the hill. As opposed to down there.
Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, I am not replay. I am not continuing the game from here. So what I'm going to do instead is, thankfully, a different player of Outward discovered that the game actually takes multiple makes multiple saves. And I'm going to reload one of the previous saves. Because if you think that I'm going to continue playing from here because of forgetting to get pick up my backpack from being spawned on top of a inaccessible mountain by God, then no. <laughs> I'd match much rather end the game running end streaming the game here now than do that, just because that's ridiculous. But as I thought, there are multiple game saves for this, so it would be easy to fix. So we're going to go ahead and delete these two saves here, or at least move them, rename them so that they don't get loaded. No problem. No way! I am not replaying from there. Turn off cloud sync. Much better.
be looting from the giants from the giant village. Cause that was stupid. That was just really stupid on the game's part. Now we can turn Cloud Sing back on. I guess I'll have to turn that back on after I see the game saves again, freshly. Forgot where the salesperson is in this village. It's so dark. It's over here, right? The giant village was actually kind of a letdown. It's way too dark, and there weren't that many people to talk to. Could be worse, I guess. Looks like the game has saved as of leaving the giant village. So let's go ahead and make sure that the sync syncs the correct um, save file, quote unquote. As God intended. Because, yeah, that was way too many hours of, like, effort put in. It was starting to give me metal unit vibes. Like, back when we lost our whole metal unit save file. I hope that something like that on that level doesn't occur here and afterward. Because that would be very rage-inducing. But it doesn't look like it will. So we should be fine. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, good. Awesome. Wireless VR stuff? Are you watching from VR right now? Hmm. <laughs> How is it? Okay. How are you doing, Ace?
That can only be used in melee weapons? That sucks. Hmm. <laughs> no problem. I almost had a middle unit movement just now, but I was able to fix it, thankfully. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I kind of... The game kind of did a fucky-wucky and spawned me on top of a... And spawned me on top of a, um... Place that you could not get to naturally, and I forgot to bring my... And I forgot to bring my... Bag with me. So, I pretty much lost several hours worth of work. So, I had to fuck around with the... With the, uh, save files just to get my shit back. Man, am I still losing against this stupid dinosaur? Damn it. The answer appears to be yes. Yes, I am. And I'm diseased on top of it. For some reason. That's getting really annoying, though. Oh, not this fucking lair again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Done a lot of that, unfortunately. I think it's kind of dumb that you can't poison the arrows. But... At least I spawned right next to the exit this time. Better just eat this food now. Since it auto- oh my goodness. Exit to the Hallowed Marsh. Did you know that there's... That there are full body trackers that are already out that don't require base stations anymore? I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was kind of neat. I really do feel like the marsh is meant to be the really difficult area of this game. Or something. Because even the desert area wasn't nearly this difficult. At least I don't think it was. Where are we? And where am I going? If I'm going to be wander wandering around and picking up stuff to sell, I guess I should figure out what is killing that dinosaur over there. Ah, uh, yes. Fight for my amusement. This might take a while, though. But if I'm lucky, maybe they'll kill each other again. 
at the same time. Then I could just drag both of their corpses back home for more money. Money, money, money. Oh, looks like there's a clear winner. Okay. Is it dead? Wow, I actually beat that thing on its own terms. Awesome. Maybe I will make an axe made out of it, built out of its flesh. You're virtual. I'm virtual? Nice. Virtual or er or. Close enough. Why do I get the feeling that these plants are somehow de- Oh, they're just two dads. I need more stamina boosts. Or something. Or I just need to make some food. Let's make some meats too, huh? Does that sound good right now? Wait, is that all my water? Shit. Yeah, it wasn't such a bright idea. <laughs> Where am I anyway? Is it just me, or is there something trapped in that big, giant crystal up there? Hmm. These are all questions that I cannot answer. At least not right now. But it is curious. The last time I looked up at that thing, it didn't look like that. Well, let's continue. It is only 7 in the morning. Welcome back, Christian. So, or 7 in the morning in game, I should say. So, plenty of time. Do I have enough arrows to kill those stupid dinosaurs from this far away? Probably not, huh? Do I, can I make more arrows? Do I have enough materials for this? No, I should probably be playing this the way... Uh, I should probably have been do playing this the smart way, which I've not been doing for a little while now. Setting traps everywhere. To absolutely cheese the shit out of everything that comes into my path. Because when the enemies themselves are cheesy, the only way to win is to make them lose through every means possible.
Plus, I know how to make these things now, so I don't need to worry about spending money on more tripwire traps anyway. Wait, why am I overburdened? Ah, that's why. On the right side, deploying all these tripwire traps also means that there'll be more room in my bag. That should be good for now, right? And that's what I heard. All right. Come on. Wow, it didn't- it barely even staggered. What the shit? These things are s What does it take to kill you, motherfuckers? Oh my god. Well, good thing I got several more, I guess. And good thing they don't really heal, either. Oh, uh, wait, one of them is actually dead. Who'd have thought? And you're dead, too. <laughs> Worth. That was so satisfying just now. Steakosar. Featuring steak. We're eating good tonight, Martha. Just nothing but meats, too. Hmm. I guess all the meats, too, is gone. Our meal is done. Still early morning. We're gonna go ahead and visit the giant spire light over there and see what to be see what can be seen or done for that matter.
<laughs> what in the world is that? Hello, Caravaners. Greetings, friend. Kind of a strange place to be, eh? Master Trader Hat. <laughs> Do I really need a blue wizard hat? I'm not even sure we're going to be using magic yet. I guess for my purposes, no, not really. I really want to try guns out at some point. As much as I like having the wizard hat, as good looking as it is on me. I don't do any ma use any magic, so it would be kind of pointless. I'll always buy or craft another sometime in the future. Greetings, friend. You gotta be pragmatic in this game sometimes, you know. Oh. I can't even get there because I'd have to go all the way around. I must be on one of these islands or something. Now that's fairly annoying. But it's a marsh, so what can you do? Honestly. It's kind of weird seeing that Sorobian cavern... Soroborian, uh... Shop just sitting there in the middle of nowhere, too. Wait. Where am I? There's a spire of light right there. The entrance to is over there. So am I over here? I think I'm legitimately lost. Not like that isn't the first time it's happened anyway. Here we go. We can get to where we need to go from this bridge over here. Alright. Ah, more of these bastards. Kill the mage first.
Okay. One second. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Are you just gonna sit there and kinda aimlessly look for where your partner went? Because they're dead, you know. Very dead. Shit! I missed. That's that's actually terrible on my part. Like really terrible. He has a weird ass mask too. I can't take that mask seriously at all. That wasn't so bad. No rotating the... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? God damn it, Karma. Alright, for how long? For how long? <laughs> Five minutes, I guess? You redeemed that at 7.08? What time is it right now? Alright. Uh, what time is it right now? Um, hmm. It is 7.09, I guess. So, until um, 7.13, I cannot move the camera. <laughs> Luckily for myself, I love Resident Evil. Speaking of which, I'm thinking about playing some horror games on this channel. Do you guys have any um, suggestions? I prefer psychological horror over um, jump scare type of horror, so I kind of refuse to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Sorry, I don't, I don't like, I don't like jump scare horror. Resident Evil has jump scares in it too, but I. Grew up with that, so I'm not as affected by it anymore. Hmm. Uh, can I not, like, enter this building, I guess? Or... The Dark Picture series? What's that? No metal, but lots of traps left. Okay. Uh, food is not spoiling yet. No! Why did I use one of my foods? Okay. Definitely a word of cooperative horror games where your choices impact the ending. Oh, that's cool. I'll look into that then. I think I can't enter this building unless I turn around, so... I'm going to wait for the time to run out, and then I'll rotate the camera. I think the entrance might be over here. 
Is there even an entrance to this thing? What is this place? Where am I? The windmill is over there to my left. But I don't actually know where this is on the map, where I'm at right now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 713. I can move around again. Okay, so I think that must be the giant's village right there. Okay. Which means I must be at the giant ruins if I'm reading this map correctly. Oh, there's the giant ruins. How are you even supposed to reach that? Does it seem kind of strange that there's a building here with no entrance? No front door? How are you supposed to enter this place? Hmm. That's kind of a killjoy. So the giant's ruins is over here. And I'm over here somewhere. Because hmm. there is the... Yeah, I'm over here somewhere. There might be an entrance to the giant's ruins down there. Why am I so heavy? 99.6 Hmm Food back there. Okay. Let's see if we can get inside the giant's ruins. Snoop around a bit. It's three thirty in the afternoon in game. You are thirsty. I could probably gather some rancid water and just cook it, right? Make it uh, edible. Somehow I think it would take a lot more than just boil parboiling to clean this water, though. But it's worth a shot. The game is also arbitrary in which tree and which tree it will allow me to harvest and whatnot. Like for example, right now it does not want to let me use these trees.
rancid water. Hmm. Well, that's not so bad, right? Maybe I can just chug an antidote potion and run across it? Let me go ahead and parboil some water first before going over there, though. Still find it weird that I can't harvest any of these trees. Not even that one. Was this here before? Survivor elixir er, learned. Finally. I'm so glad I could just make a campfire anywhere. Mm -hmm. Ah, clean water has been added. Well, there you go. Alright then. Give me my cooking pot back. And let me just drink some water for myself really quick. Let's see if we can snoop around the giant's uh, ruins over there. Even though I don't have much room to carry some carry the spoils of war back. We'll just have to make do. Maybe we'll even camp inside for the evening. Who knows? That wasn't so bad. No, that was a lot easier than I thought. Under Island? I wonder if this actually does count as count as a uh, dungeon. Oh man! Oh, those are some spooky looking fellers. Looking fellers there. Look at all. That's a lot, a lot of uh, trogs. Some big mushrooms and a lot of rare. Look a rare looking. Veins. What's this? Hmm. Giant children are examined by the High Monk and the High Lord when 20 years old and their position in life is decided. Builders, merchants, and craftsmen serve the High Monk, and soldiers, artists, and farmers are governed by the High Lord. Families of deceased giants will give a heart from the dead to the local High Monk who will use their craft to merge the stone heart into their porcelain art, so that some part of the giant's life will endure beyond their death. The High Lord will then commission a silk banner to reflect that giant's deeds and knowledge. Ash giants believe that death is final, 
and that the only works that have been created in porcelain and ash silk endure beyond death. They do, however, believe in passing down the wisdom of their ancestors via these crafts to educate and guide their descendants. That's cool. Giants who cause minor transgressions must make amends to the person they wronged and must create a porcelain item or an ash silk item for the wrong party depending on their trade. Large transgressions carry the penalty of exile for 20 years. After that time, the giant may attempt to seek forgiveness and return to giant society. A giant may be forgiven only twice, once in the name of the Dawn Reaver and once in the name of the Dusk Father. After a third transgression, the giant may never return to their colony and is considered dead to them. However, returning an exile's heart is welcome, as even the worst giants are considered to have a place within their history. The only crimes that are unforgivable across all of giant society are the murder of a silk weaver or a porcelain crafter. For every other offense, it is possible to seek forgiveness after the period of exile, although each giant tribe uses their own discretion for whether or not to forgive a crime. Well, that's interesting. Looks like we'll need to collect gemstones just to enter here, though. Medium ruby. Two medium rubies. A hackmanite. And a small sapphire. A tiny aquamarine. So we are not coming back here for a little while. Six in the evening, though. Let's see if we can catch some Zs. Hopefully without being molested in our sleep. That's a big hope, unfortunately. Hmm. How do you know? This is considered a safe zone. <laughs> Finally, I can actually get some re uh, some decent rest for once. I am thirsty. Well, let's do something about that. Sunrise always gets me. Am I still poisoned? There we go. I was wondering why I was still going down. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. Oh, 
It didn't... Okay. It didn't fill the... Water skin with new water. So, we'll have to go... Okay. Let's try and make it to the Sun Tower this time. Assholes. That one over there looks particularly dangerous. But I'll make short work of them. Then I'll have to make more of these later. out the mage first. Uh, let's attract this guy, actually. Come on, doofus. Take the bait. Come on. <laughs> now, where's the other one? Oh, shit. Wow, I missed. Does he realize there are traps there? I thought they were not that smart. Hmm. gonna say if I died to that I was gonna be upset I did not though even got some of my stuff refunded thanks game My jerky is about to spoil. Should probably eat all that before it does. I wonder if it just adds and adds and adds, or if it caps out at some point. Hmm. So we must be on the right track. South, east. Hmm. But the spiral light's right there, so why would it say. That's so weird. Whatever.
I wouldn't mind going back to the Mercury Forest, actually. It's really comfy there. Just for a little bit. Collect some money, and then finally come back to town here. Do some more training. Good life. Gonna slay a few more dinosaurs on my way out. Just a few more. I may have a problem. These are the last of my trip wires, too. Okay. Cle not so clever girl, I should say. Sit tight right there. Come Come on. I don't have all day. Come on. Sniper shot's almost ready. Is it healing? Or did it just not take that much damage? Dang. Maybe a little bit of both. Hmm. Or maybe it's crippled. You're dead. Unfortunately, it looks like I did use all my trip wires in the end. Stakosaurs. Okay. The game knows what I want. And I can't carve wood from that for some reason. What about this one? This one I can. Cool. More arrows. Getting closer to this big uh, tower thing, Majigger. Gonna finally see what secrets it holds. I think. Yeah, it looks like the entrance right there. It's probably another dungeon with my luck. Oh my goodness, what is that? I'm going to take a while to this guess and assume that I can't fight that right now in my current level. That's kind of... That's kind of freaky. I love the all the effort they put into the design of this game, I swear. Am I overweight again? Dang it. Need to move five pounds worth of garbage into my... Like that one? There we go. So that's not a tree, that's a satellite dish of some kind, it looks like. Now I really wish I didn't use up all my trip wires. It might have been helpful against those things. But those look like uh, droids, like robots, defense robots, so I doubt it would have mattered anyway. Gotta remember to watch the ground so I don't actually step on a... Yeah, I know, right? Enter the Spire of Light.
All right, I have entered the oh balls. Well, I cannot progress any further. There's no way I could fight those things just yet. We are quickly exiting. Let's go back to Ermacro Forest. Um, kind of focus on fighting, collecting items, and getting better use of combat. Get some better equipment, and then we'll come back to Marsh, to the Marsh. Purchase all of my Jedi training powers. And we'll go from there. 387 gold. I just need around a little less than 200 actually to purchase the first thing for my Jedi training path. I'm legit curious to see, know if I could even damage those things, if I could kill those people. But I'm not even sure if I can build tripwires yet, much less do that. How do you make tripwires again? Oh. I just need... I just need metal. I used up all my metal to build more arrows, so I'm kind of fucked in that regard. Hmm. And you can't just poison arrows, so I can't use poison arrows against them. Regular arrows are most likely not going to do anything. Is this southwest? South... West. Of course, it should be to the northeast. Northeast from the Spire of Light. Hmm. So, how do we get out of here? Here's the Spire of Light. Oh, I'm, a, I'm on this plateau over here where the spiral light is. Oh, that's dumb. I can't get to the forest from this direction. Because this is the bridge. To... Unless I can, like... Go through the Spire of Light to get to the... I guess this is what we'll have to do. See you, Chris. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Well, that spoils my plans. We'll have to just get off of this area. And we'll go left for once. May visit the Jade Quarry, see if there's anything we can mine. Getting pretty late to my end in the real world as well. But let's see how far we can go in this game. These are really cool looking solar panels, by the way. You can tell they're solar panels. I mean, look at that. Almost fell to my death again. A herd of dinosaurs. Oh, that's not good. This plateau is dangerous.
<laughs> I banned Ziggurat to the north. Well, this is not even the bridge yet, is it? J quarry to our south. Hey, Vimboy. How are you tonight? Or this more rather morning in your time? <laughs> Having a good morning so far? That's good. <laughs> Giving you morning head pats then. I got a few minutes, or we're nearing the end of the stream, but I'm just kind of relaxing right now after a hard day of trying to collect monies. And I actually even had to do some save file shenanigans with this game today. But otherwise, it's been fun. We'll be going on for at least a good 20 minutes or so. Maybe 10. Or maybe more. We'll see. <laughs> You've done this for me a lot late or a lot every time I visit you too, so let me shout you out in return. Still no way I can't get to Enmerkor Forest from there. Have to go through a laser force field of some kind first. But it is what it is. I think I've done a little bit too much fighting off more than I can chew anyway. All things considered. Hmm. Go ahead and head out of the forest for now. Or head out of the uh, marsh for now. I'm admittedly getting a little bit lazy. But we're going to at least try to avoid the dinosaurs. Have I been here before? I didn't know there was a mining colony here. Bunch of boxes and everything. It's pretty empty otherwise. I'll always like discovering new places in this game like that. It's weird how they're kind of stuck in this weird in this place between magical and the dawn of the industrial revolution. Don't mind if I do. 
Small sapphire. I need one of those. Can make one of these and I'll sell it. Do I not have any more metal pieces? Guess not. Hmm. Still, I wonder what that is. This is not the jade quarry, is it? Because there's sure not a lot of jade here. The banjo ziggurat should be up there. You know, for a quarry... Hmm. Well, I guess it does look like a quarry. Oh, it's underground. What fresh hell is down here? Some nice ingredients. An old lantern, which we'll leave there so it provides light to us. Trims are rather expensive. If I go down there, I won't be able to get back up again. A corpse of a knight? Whoa. An alpha sandwich. Don't mind if I do. His boots are fucked up, but I'll take his claymore. The game doesn't let me even sell ships. But I could probably tear apart a ship, I bet. Haha! <laughs> you can tear apart ships. Or extra scrap. That's good to know, actually. Goodness knows I'll need more of them. Looks like this used to be his, uh... Residence, too. Wonder what he was looking for down here, before he died. Dad is a dinosaur. Curiosity kills the cat, but it seems to kill me more often. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not two at a time. Unless... I cannot set up... Oh, shit. Are you shitting me? You lured me into a freaking dead end. Clever girls. See ya! We'll have to come back to this place later. Makes me curious what's down there, though. Very curious indeed.
All right. Let's head back to Chersonese. I think this has been enough adventure for... Enough marsh adventuring for... However so many days I've been stuck here. Thank you. Need a moment? Chew it over with a Twix. Or in my case, some meats too. Yeah, turn off my... More marshmallows. How many marshmallows do I have now? Two? Not that bad. Four twenty in the afternoon. Dinosaur. Do Ah yes. Another caravaner. Sure it seems to be a lot of these everywhere actually. Greetings, friend. I want to buy something. Or rather I want to sell something. I'll keep one of these in case I need it. <laughs> that alpha sandwich actually looks really good. It's making me hungry in real life as well. Don't need a claymore, or I need that iron claymore. Definitely don't need that. And I already have a nice fang axe, so we sell that too. Cool. 472 silver is not that bad, actually. Going to transform four of these into gold bars. Thank you. What the fuck? Oh. That was close. I, th I thought that was going to go ahead and attack me. And in fact, they might still. Come on. Go away. I guess it's not going to go away. Or well, it's just circling me, I guess. I'm tempted to kill it, but... It'll be a pain in the ass. I'm not even sure I have enough ammunition for that. And actually, what I could probably do though, since these are burning a hole in my pocket right now. Am I doing Seth proud? Hey, hey, people. Traps here. <laughs> I deployed these, but I didn't learn the proper skill sets for it.
Well, I did a fair amount of damage. But... Why did I have to miss like that? It's also not a good idea to strike this thing too many times. Otherwise, it's going to spread pollen all over me. And that's a bad mojo. If it's slow enough, maybe I can just sniper shot it. Again. Oh, that does work. Who'd have thought? That wasn't so bad. Unfortunately, it didn't let me rip out its beak. But it's the experience that counts. Let's get back to Chersonese. There and back again. We can continue our hunt for blue sand. Make our finish our armor set from earlier. That's a bandit over there, isn't it? I wonder if they have any good loot. It's only six in the evening. I can deal with that. Honestly, at these point, at this point in the game, these bandits are nothing to me. Except, you know, free money. See? Maybe I should go ahead and just get the skill points for a ranger, since I've been using so much ranger anyway. Ow. You scratched me, asshole. I can rip out their machete just to get more metal pieces. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. If I'm not careful, I'm just going to kill everyone all the way back home. All the way on my trip back home. I Me, mean, that's this, what I should do. Then I'll sell all this stuff. Always feels good to be back home, so to speak, or in the starting position. It's weird to think that when I started this game, I used to suck so bad that even the starting place was difficult. I'm sure that I'm having such difficulty in Marsh right now because it's beyond my, like, tier or whatever. My weapons and equipment do a great job against enemies here in Serzo, but elsewhere, not so much. That's a Wendigo. The Wendigo is gonna fuck my shit up today. It's gonna fuck my shit up. I should avoid the Wendigo and not attempt to fight it. This music always gets me pumped too. Ooh, fish. It's a Mazur shrimp. I wonder, this is what I was curious about. Can I rip apart the Azure Shrimp? Nope, you cannot. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm, seaweed. To do to do to do Looks like the window Wendigo is biting some hyenas. We're not gonna bother stopping for night time. We're just gonna keep walking all the way home. And it
Even though Suzu's kind of treated me like shit lately, and took my lighthouse and made me homeless, I feel oddly at home there. You know, just from a gameplay perspective, even. Raw meat starting to spoil. Guess we were. Guess we probably should take some time off for tonight, and then continue our journey home tomorrow. I pity the fool that tries to attack me during the evening. Oh man, I'm starting to get hungry. I said it before, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Miner's Omelette? I didn't know you can make this out of larva eggs. That's interesting. Some more marshmallow. I don't know what it is about this game, but I always feel accomplished playing it. I spent so much time modding Skyrim and Oblivion that it never felt like they ended. And I think eventually I just kind of burned out. Need to drink some water? Don't mind if I do. Only problem is where? Silly me. I got plenty of water right here. Those pearl birds used to have given me so much trouble. I'm right, this should be heading towards your Cerzo. Mm hmm Yeah. Think am I going to the Vanville Fortress and just fucking everyone's day? With my current equipment and the knowledge that I now possess, it would be fairly simple. And I could probably loot their bodies for additional items I can either take for myself or sell. Should be a good time. Honestly. Mm-hmm. 
Is it not going to let me break down the quarter step into its constituent parts? Eh. Almost home. I like how the screen slightly darkens as you lose stamina, as if you're actually getting winded in real life. Whoa! Oh, that's just a pro board. I thought it was like a mecha or something at first. That would have been spooky. Ooh, shrimp. I wonder how good I am at fighting against shrimp now. I can go along the coast and just start bullying seafood. These things were fairly tough, if I recall correctly. Hey! What the fuck? Stupid fucking... God damn it. Oh. Yeah, you better run. Fucking shit. Man. Oh. Is the insect going for it? It is not. It's going for me. It fires electricity. I didn't know it fired electricity. Shh, man, that was spooky. Good thing they're still fairly dumb. You're also a lot bigger in person. Like, wow. Well, but this is what we're doing now, I guess. Reading crab to reading shrimp tonight, girls. Yes, we are. Since we're in the area, let's go ahead and grab some fish. There should be a fishing spot around here. There, there's a couple actually. Wonder who I need to bully to get some more blue sand. And I wonder, I wonder, or maybe the game tells you where to find blue sand and I just wasn't paying attention. I can't believe that bird cheap shot me. When I wasn't looking. You know what, bird? Yeah, that's right. Reading chicken tonight. It used to be that I couldn't even do that to a chicken. Did barely any damage to them, in fact. It's fairly annoying. Now, if I so wanted, I could depopulate the entirety of Chersonese. Of chickens. You know, just a thought, if I ever felt the need to. I am going to give you a bitch lasagna yet. Yeah, you better run. Really? Oh, I'm out of stamina. I can't even fight back. Unless... Hmm. 
Nope, I still can't fight back, actually. running away. Not after all that. Chersonese or Sherzo should be just up ahead. Now walk this lonely road. Do, 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 a bunch of words I don't remember. Those are two bandits there, waiting to ambush someone, wearing peasant clothes, and I'm going to kill them first. At least I can do that now. It got blocked by a fucking fence. Ah, oh, good try. Good try. You get points for effort. We're almost home, kids. Just across the river bend. Man, I look tired. I am tired in real life. That's for damn sure. Do. Do, do, do. Hmm. Stream is going a little bit later tonight. Do, 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 do. Almost home. Almost home. Gonna let the music play our finish first before we enter. For good old time's sake. I wonder if. Seth would be proud to see this kind of monetary gains. I'm guessing it must be springtime in Sirzo. Just from how violently greenish yellow the grass is. Need something? Hey, Burlak. A defensive technique with a two-handed sword. It's funny how 50 silver is no longer a lot. Still wish that the game would let me buy my lighthouse back, though. Greetings, friend. I'm guessing I have to, like, progress the game to do that or something? I don't know. Wow, what the hell? You're not selling that much this time. Usually you're, like, selling hands over fist stuff. I 
That's kind of weird. Greetings, friend. Is it just RNG then? What you sell? I am carrying so much crap right now. What can hey, I do? Hey, hammer. All right. Fang shield, fang sword, fang whatever. Fang this, fang that. I'm surprised I don't know how to make iron spikes yet. I know how to make tripwire traps at least. But this is also fairly cheap, it's only 10. It looks like, like, enough time has passed that all the stuff I sold them in the past is now gone. Oh wait, no, it's still there. Brutal this, brutal that. Hmm. All the guards people here use really garbage tier armor and weapons, I just realized. But also, I probably shouldn't be surprised. Hey there. Do you sell anything that I can use? Coldstone Creamery. I probably still can't use any or make any of these thing any potions out of these things, can I? I've been mostly selling my these fancy ingredients I've been finding. Really wish I could take the blue sand out of these cold stone. Honestly. What can I do for you? I wonder... Amber, my friend. Curious. Amber, my friend.
What can I do for you? Here's what I need. All right, dude, you need to tell me where to find the blue sand. What was that? <sighs> okay. I wonder if... Hey there. Is the plan. Hey, listen. See ya. Mm -hmm. More fish. Oh, do you mean to tell me I'm just supposed to collect the blue sand slowly over time from catching fish? Is that really what the... I guess there are worse ways. But still, it's kind of annoying. Good thing there's so many fishing spots. Like, a lot of fishing spots all over the place. No, don't drink the wa salt water. Oof, that would have been bad. How much blue sand do I got now? Just two? Could have sworn I had more than that. Greetings, friend. Amber, friend. I could probably just sell poison rags too, huh? Only problem is I don't know where to f commonly find rags, so I kind of don't want to do that. Out of fear of, like, running out of my stuff. Stone and oil. So mana stone plus oil equals firestone. I see how it is. So much junk. Here's an alchemy kit. Take all my gold pieces. And trade the gold pieces back into silver, and then we're going to go about continuing our armor. Greetings, building up. friend. I sold all these, he's not going to be able to afford it. <laughs> what can I do? Here's what I need. All right, so 
I need five for the armor and three for the helmet, huh? And I just randomly get sand from fishing, I guess? There's a secret entrance to the beach, or a secret shortcut to the beach from here that I could access. But I think I'd much rather have the armor than the helmet, personally. So... Should probably restore all store all the stuff for safekeeping again. Then I'll go up and down the beach, Look, just murdering the shit out of things. Thank you. I haven't been able to make this in a long time. One moment, please. Well, chat, this seems like a good stopping point. We're going to end things here for now, as soon as I cook all my remaining food. Mm -hmm. Alright. Looks like we're in a good place, all things considered. Hey, Asha. How are you doing today? Unfortunately, I'm actually about to head out, but I appreciate you stopping by, as always. <laughs> what you been up to? And stream again on Friday. Not entirely sure what we'll do. Probably Project Wingman. Mm. Everyone stick around so we can raid someone. Need to figure out who that's who our victim's gonna be today though. I'll be streaming at 5 o'clock Central Standard Time. Right now it is 8.30... Right now it is 8.32 Central Standard Time, my time. 8.32 in the, in the, uh, after, in the uh, evening, actually. So, I usually stre start streaming around f a little bit, a lot earlier than that, around 5 p.m., which is three hours before this time. 
And on Saturdays, I stream at 8 in the morning, my time, which is 12 hours from now. <laughs> Usually, I tend to stream on Saturdays so early so that I can hang out with my Asian and European friends. <laughs> Let's see who Yeah It is kind of difficult sometimes for a lot of the people on the other side of the world to visit my streams Which is why I'm always grateful when y'all do manage to make it <laughs> Nine in the morning your time? Oh, I see that's the same way with me, too. Usually when I visit my friends from Australia and the Philippines, it's usually when I pop into the streams while I'm just starting at my work and my uh, actual job. <laughs> so, don't worry. I'm sure we'll run into each other eventually. In the meanwhile, I'm going to send you all to... Oh. Rip. Well, I mean, I work at home, so it's no big deal to me if I pop into someone's stream then. Thanks for visiting again, though. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and send everyone to a another VTuber really quick. We're going to be raiding VLUX Zhao today. And thank you once again, everyone, for coming. We are going, as for what our raid message will be today, um, I'm not really sure. Let's do, I usually do like using Lul's raid, which is this. <laughs> and without further ado, have a good night. See y'all again soon. Fucking shit. How's it going, Lola? I was quite literally about to press. I was literally about to press. Hey, let's just get this shit going.